guys, today I'm going to be doing the What's on My iPhone challenge. I have the iPhone 5, and I'm sorry if you can hear a tractor, but I live right in front of a field, and right now they're like cutting the grass in the field, and it's really loud, so sorry about that. Let's go. This is my iPhone. This is the case that I have on. I think I got this from just a local shop that I shop at. And it wasn't too expensive, but it's really good because it goes all the way around and I've not yet smashed my phone. So this is what my phone looks like without the case on. It's just the iPhone 5. As you can see, there's like a pattern on it from my phone case. So this is the... So this is the screensaver that I have. It's just a picture of a cat with galaxy sunglasses on. As you can see it's 12 in the afternoon and it's Saturday the 15th and this video goes up tomorrow. So when I just log in, this is the front page, you just have your normal stuff. Camera photos, camera clock, weather, maps, videos, notes, reminders, stops, passport, iBook, iTunes, app store, newsstand, settings, safari, game center, extras with all the boring stuff in it. And then this app, Tips, which I have which I find so useful and it's good to go on just when you're bored and it basically just gives you tips like you can type in anything from like beauty all the way to travel and it's really good and it gives you new tips and then you go down on this bit I have music, iPhone, messages and f messages? <laughs> messages and FaceTime the next page I just have all my other apps that I got I have normal like my personal Facebook, Messenger, Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter, Amazon, Gmail, YouTube and this app Countdown which I do recommend it is a very good app and it's just it tells you how many you can just put in an event and it tells you how many days so one day until I go back to school but it does hours as well so it's one day and 18 hours till I go back to school. I go back on Monday and then it says 18 days and 6 hours until I go to the Jane Oskins concert. Then I just have Spotify, Retrica and Snapfish which is a app where you can choose photos from your phone and get them sent to you like I have on my heart wall you could say. The photos that make up a heart, that's where I got those photos iMovie which is what I used to um, edit my YouTube videos on but now I have my camera so I just use my laptop. I have Photogrid um, just to edit some photos if they don't fit in my lock screen or whatever. Blur Images which is what I use when I want to hide the background of something more or less likely. And Memorado which is just like a brain game like I'll show you. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm sorry it was so short, but I recently had to delete all my photos from my phone because I did not have enough space, so therefore I can't have a lot of apps. I am truly sorry. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. That is all for now guys. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.